Table of content The awkward phone call eviction from Frogmore Cottage Harry and Meghan not invited to King's birthday party, the King's refusal to reach out when Prince Harry's autobiography Spare was published in January 2023. It brought relations between him and the rest of the royal family down to a new low. Less than one year after becoming monarch, King Charles had to contend with the numerous harsh criticisms leveled at his nearest and dearest, in particular Queen Camilla and Prince William. In spare, Harry labelled Camilla a villain and accused her of leaking stories about him to the press, while he claims William was also his nemesis as well as his once trusted ally. Now in Endgame, the latest release from royal author Omid Scobie, he gives further details into how the relationship between the king and his younger son has fared ever since Spare was released. While the pair are still in contact somewhat, last speaking on the phone for Charles' 75th birthday earlier this month, his reaction to Harry's tell-all book proves there is still a long way to go before he can fully forgive him, as express. Co.uk takes a closer look at the situation. Click here to join our WhatsApp community to be the first to receive news about the royal family. The awkward phone call in Endgame, Mr. Scobie writes that Harry reached out to his father via an awkward phone call before Spare was due to be published, even though the king was not keen to chat once he found out about the book's release. The Mirror reported that Charles was given the opportunity to talk to Harry while he was writing Spare to discuss any grievances, but he refused to make contact with his estranged son. Ultimately Harry decided to make the call himself, but it did not lead to many positive outcomes, as a friend of the Duke told the author, it was an awkward conversation, but he knew if he didn't make those first steps, there would never be any progress. There was no raised voices, no arguments, but the king was cold and brief rather than open to any proper dialogue. But some royals were supposedly unhappy with how Charles dealt with the issue. As another source told Mr. Scobie, it's complex, but there's increasing frustration from some of the wider circle of family members that Charles won't fix things for the sake of everyone. Become an Express Premium member support fearless journalism read the Daily Express online, advert free get super fast page loading start 30 day free trial eviction from Frogmore Cottage shortly after spare hit bookshop shelves, King Charles asked Harry and Meghan to vacate Frogmore Cottage the UK property which was gifted to them by Queen Elizabeth after their wedding. In spite of being based in Montecito, California, the couple was still able to stay at Frogmore whenever they were in Britain, as they did for the Platinum Jubilee and the Queen's funeral in 2022. Mr Scobie writes that the final blow came when the cottage was offered to Prince Andrew once they had moved out, even though he is living at Royal Lodge and reportedly has no intention of leaving. The author believes the gesture was undoubtedly intended as a slight against the Sussexes, as they were powerless to stop the king doing as he liked. Harry and Meghan not invited to King's birthday party, although they are no longer official working royals, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are usually invited to large-scale royal events such as the Platinum Jubilee and the Coronation. However, when the king turned 75 earlier this month, a spokesperson for the couple confirmed there had been no contact between them and Buckingham Palace regarding an invitation to a birthday dinner for family and friends at Clarence House. Harry and Charles did share a birthday phone call and Meghan reportedly sent a video of Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet singing happy birthday to their granddad. The King's 75th birthday was said to be a more laid-back affair following this May's celebrations for his coronation. The king's refusal to reach out King Charles has not yet read spare, and nor does he ever intend to, as while he and Harry still talk occasionally their relationship is still very strained. With both sides locked in a standoff, neither party appears likely to back down without an apology from the other, as insiders claim Harry is notoriously stubborn. Royal commentator Angela Levin also told GB News, I believe H's, Harry got a list of what H is angry about and he wants to go one by one and get an apology for how H has been treated and how Shush has been treated. It's not going to happen, 